Hello everybody. This is a short video on gating only plasma balls. This plasma ball has a dynamic range of 0.01 hertz to 10,000 kilohertz. Um, it's called a gating only because that's the only way you can modulate the plasma ball on these units. And the reason why that is so is that about one out of eight units that I get, uh, they just don't have the dynamic range of running up to 30 kilohertz. Uh, so, I'm going to release these units as gating only units. It's what I used to use five years ago, um, which I still use today, mostly in, uh, these plasma balls in gating only mode. Uh, my favorite frequencies are 783, Schumann's Resonance, uh, 432, that's uh, Pythagorean Tuning, which is also a health frequency, and 528, um, DNA Repair. Uh, and these balls run beautifully. Uh, anywhere between 0 0.01 all the way up to 10 kilohertz and I'll give you a demonstration. Right now you can see the meter is at zero. So, whoops, uh, that's my hand turning around and causing a little conduction because I'm near the computer. Uh, but it's at zero and the plasma ball is off. In the background you can see a oscilloscope. It's not uh, displaying anything. I have a probe right here and this probe is the oscilloscope probe. That oscilloscope, the one in the background and it will receive the plasma electric field right out of the air and it will show it right on the screen. So let's turn it on. And right now the plasma ball is free running um, off its internal oscillator. And got this probe a little too close. Let's put the clip a little further back. And the spooky is on and it is presently set to 10,000 kilohertz. I'm going to turn it on and you can see now the meter just got pegged and you'll see a slight reduction on the uh, oscilloscope on the wave output and that's because this is being turned on and off at a 50% duty cycle 10,000 times a second. Um, the connection again is extremely simple. Uh, the only considerations you want to um, with regard to whether you run it from software or in a manual mode, you want 10 um, uh, volts on the input, uh, not 20, not 15, not 5, you want 10. And I have a write-up that uh, states that. You want a square wave and you want 100% offset. Let's demonstrate a couple of other quick frequencies or uh, quickly I'm going to jump down to, right now it's flashing at Shulman's Resonance 7.83. Uh, cycles per second and it's a beautiful flash here. Um, looks a little balky on the uh, video because the camera is basically out of sync with the flashing rate. So um, it looks like it's not flashing quite as fast as it really is. It's flashing very very fast. Uh, well 7.83. I'm going to just turn the frequency up a little bit and you can see a slight variation. Boom 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 boom. Okay, now it's flashing a lot faster. And I'm just going up, 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 up. I'm up to 47 hertz. I can go up to 100. I'm up to 127 hertz. And you can see the, the burst of uh, 127 on and off. And then you can... It's going 127 times on and off at 50% duty cycle. So that's a real good frequency to show in a scope. Okay, so much for that. I have one minute left. I wanted this to be a five-minute video. Somebody asked me if I could turn around and do a um, alternative to the meter to sh show that the uh, plasma ball was generating a field. I have this DSO 202 handheld um, oscilloscope. It costs roughly $75. That's almost $50 cheaper than the meter. And if I I have it already turned on, and if I just bring this this particular scope probe. And you can see it is displaying the plasma field. Um, I'm about probably 10 inches away. I can increase the sensitivity. Um, so I can detect this probably with this particular uh, meter. I would guesstimate a good 5 to 10 feet away. But uh, the sensitivity right now is set to 3 volts per division. I can go down to something like 10 millivolts per division. So it makes it very, very sensitive. So that is an alternative to a meter. All right, so we've demonstrated a couple of things. 
um, I would like to reference you go to the video, uh, not the video, the website, and there's a write-up on this, and look at the order page, and you'll see the pricing is $50, just a few dollars over the original manufacturing cost for the toy before modification. Very, very powerful delivery device right here. All right, everybody, have yourself a nice day.